our inland lakes are a valuable resource. Invasive species such as zebra mussels, quagga mussels, and spiny water flea can impact our enjoyment and recreational activity of our lakes. Early detection and prevention is part of the Invasive Species Monitoring Program. This video is a step-by-step -step volunteer guide that complements the Invasive Species Watch Manual. The first step is to check your equipment. Ensure everything in the monitoring kit is accounted for and that equipment is in apparent good order. You should find your sample bottles in the kit or ship to you earlier as a separate package. If zebra mussels or spiny water flea were present in the lake monitor previous to yours, it's critical you disinfect all equipment prior to use. Immerse the equipment in 50 degrees Celsius tap water or hotter for a minimum of 10 minutes. Choose your sample locations. You will find help choosing your locations in the Invasive Species Watch Manual. Start to complete the log sheet and sample bottle labels. You will finish completing these items at the sample locations on the lake. Now that the preliminary work is done, travel to the first sample site with at least one volunteer. Everyone should observe the weather, be safe, wear life jackets, and have all the proper safety equipment. Anchor the boat and turn off the motor. Complete the sample sheet and bottle labels. Record the GPS coordinates and the water temperature. Before you put the plankton net in the water, tie it to your boat. Next, fill the spray bottle with lake water. Before you take a sample with the plankton net, you need to determine if you'll use the vertical or horizontal method. If your sample site has a depth of 9 meters or more, use the vertical method, which is the preferred method. Slowly let the net sink 7 meters into the lake, then pull it up slowly to capture the plankton. If the water is less than 9 meters, use the horizontal haul method. Let the net sink about 3 meters. Slowly travel about 7 meters in your boat and lift the net from the water. Whichever method you use, rinse the net up and down the lake without lowering the mouth of the net below the water surface. Rinse the net with the spray bottle to flush the plankton down into the cod end. Remove the cod end by lifting the metal flaps and turning to release the lock. Pour the sample into the labeled sample bottle. This is the first of two sub-samples that are poured into each bottle. Collect another sample. Place into the bottle. Add rubbing alcohol. Add two parts alcohol to one part sample to prevent spoilage. Proceed to the next sample site and repeat steps 5 to 15. This completes the sample process. Prepare the monitoring kit for the next volunteers. Repeat the disinfection and inspection process. Now is a good time to ready your samples for shipping. Check the equipment one last time. And you're ready to ship the kit to the next volunteer. The Invasive Species Monitoring Program is straightforward if you follow the steps carefully. This is just one part of the Invasive Species Awareness Program. Get your lake association involved. Together, we can prevent the spread of invasive species and ensure our lakes can be enjoyed for generations. 
For more information, please visit www.invadingspecies.com or call the Invading Species Hotline at 1-800-563-7711.